What's going on guys? Welcome to the Bit Branding channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to spy on Shopify stores, including one Chrome extension that a lot of people don't know about, but it's gonna help you out a lot. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. Again, my name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We have been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, strategies. Uh, so if you want to support our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications. What, what? All right, with that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, right? You have to figure out who is your competition out there, right? One of the tactics that we've used in the past is use Google for that. In Google, you can do something like site, semi, or site colon my Shopify. What are these? Um, oh my gosh, what are these? Uh, these things um type in the keyword for your store so in this example i typed in dog right and it gave me all kind of shopify stores that have the word dog attached to it again this is not going to work for every single thing but it's going to give you a pretty good idea of some of the stores in shopify for sure that are going to be on shopify that have the word dog as part of it so one that I saw earlier was this one, beds, or the foggy dog. Look look at that, they have really nice dog beds. Megan is gonna love this store, let me tell you. And so is Piper, that's my dog. It's this little silver lab, she's crazy, adorable. All right, so anyways, this store, as you can see, is a Shopify store. And we can tell that because they have, um, every Shopify store has that unique URL, which is whatever the name of it, .myshopify.com. So that's all we're doing here. We're basically telling Google, hey Google, give us every site that has that .myshopify.com with the word dog in there. So it's gonna give you, uh, it has a, quite a few results actually. Does it give you 500,000 results? 500,000 results. <laughs> so that gives you an idea of how many Shopify stores are out there with the name dog in it. And there's probably a lot more that just have maybe the word pet. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can use a lot of different keywords. Um, and you can easily find a lot of, of your competition, right? Depending on what you're selling, you just change the keyword, boom, results. All right, the next best thing that you can do, um, again, these are kind of like Shopify, like me kind of hacker, hacker tips. Hacker tips. So what we can do here is find out the best sellers. And by doing that, I'm actually, I have this store right here. It's called Huel. It's like fuel, but with an H. Um, I actually use them. I, I love their shakes. Uh, this is free promo for, for Huel, so shout out to Huel. Um, make my muscles grow. Um, so with this, what you can do is you can, I'm gonna just go to YouTube so I can grab this. I'm gonna, we're gonna have this in the uh, description of this video, but you just go to the URL and then you paste that. You're basically saying, give me the collections, all your collections, all your products, and sort them by bestseller. So what that's gonna do is gonna, depending on the store, actually, <laughs> warning, warning, warning. It doesn't work on all the stores, but it works on, I would say, majority of the stores where it will give you the pro all the all their products in order of best selling, which is pretty cool when it comes to spying on your competition, figuring out what they're doing, figuring out what are gonna be their best sellers, right? So if you're looking for maybe a couple products to sell, maybe one of these things, like a fidget little thing, um, and you want to figure out if uh, maybe, I don't know, you figure out some of the competition out there and you want to figure out if this particular product is selling well, then sort by best sellers, use that little thing on the URL and you'll be able to kind of see what are the best sellers and make a decision based off of that. Let's do the same thing with this doggy store. I just want to see if it also works with them. So if it doesn't work, it's just going to give you a, maybe an error message or uh, it's just gonna come up blank. So there we go. Actually, the number one actually has a tag already that says best seller. So we didn't have to even use that for this particular store. But there you have it. There you have all their products sorted by uh, best sellers. And a lot of times you'll see that some of their best sellers are gonna be their gift cards. Uh, that's kind of fun too. Um, so that may tell you that you may need to offer gift cards for your store. Who knows? We'll see. All right, you also wanna stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you that Google Chrome extension that does almost all this work for you with just a click of a button. All right, this next one is actually pretty cool and it works with not just Shopify, but any store. So all you have to do is enter the URL and it will give you tons of information. So let's go with it. Uh, it's called builtwith.com. So let's go with the foggy dog. 
I'm gonna copy foggydoc.com. Go to builtwith.com. I'm gonna paste that. Look up, and there you have it. Amazing results. A couple things that you can see here is analytics and tracking. You can see that they're using Google Analytics. You can see that they're using Clavio. Clavio? Is that how you say that? Clavio? Um, I'm guessing that's for yeah email. They're using Facebook Pixel, Google Global Site Tag. They're all using a couple widgets for Pinterest and Judge Me, some kind of statistics or analytics. E-commerce, obviously, Shopify. We already knew that from our search. Now, pretty cool thing here, you can actually see some of the plugins or apps that they're using. So cross-sell for Shopify, rice.ai. So there's a couple of things in here that are sh built-in Shopify. So Shopify discounts, for example, that's uh, probably gonna show up on every Shopify store. But looking at like cross-sell and then rice.ai, those things are gonna be very informational for you if you're wanting to know what kind of apps your competition is using. There's a lot of different information in here that you can use uh, if you have, you know, maybe a, a different store besides Shopify, but the main thing is gonna be the apps, the, the analytics that you're using, and then payment profiles as well. So you can see here that they're using Afterpay, using PayPal, Venmo, uh, Amazon Payments, and obviously all the other regular cards. So this gives you a lot of really good information. And uh, yeah, if you're spying on either Shopify source or non-Shopify source, this is the place to go. Now, before we jump to that Chrome extension that I've been talking and hinting about. Um, I wanna make sure that you watch our latest video on how to drive traffic to your Shopify store through TikTok. It's amazing. Um, if you're not on TikTok, you definitely wanna check it out because it's a great, great informational video and it might open your eyes on maybe, hey, maybe I should be on TikTok. Maybe I should be on TikTok. Maybe I should be on TikTok. I should be on TikTok too. Yeah, I should be on TikTok. All right, let's jump to the last one. So the last one is called Drum roll, please. It's called Koala Inspector. We're gonna do Huel again, and then we're gonna go here, and then I have a bunch of extensions. Koala Inspector, there we go, let us do this thing. Okay, now, a couple things here. Huge things, actually. Shopify theme, it actually gives you the name of the Shopify theme that they're using. So, in a lot of cases, they're gonna be using custom themes, and they'll completely change the name, so in this instance, Huel has a very custom theme, so they just called it Huel. So you really don't know. They could have worked off of a different template or theme and just changed the name. That's very easy to do. A lot of times you'll actually see the actual name of the theme, which is really cool. So you can actually spy and see exactly what theme they're using. Then you can also see Shopify applications, which is their apps that they're using. So they're using Instant Search and then two more undetected. So sometimes it doesn't give you the full story, but Qual Inspector is free. Just wanna let you know real quick. And there's a paid version as well that gives you a little bit more information. And then also be paying attention to these ads. <laughs> so these are not necessarily installed in Huel.com. They're just ads from Qual Inspector. That's how they made their money from their free version. So just pay attention to that. Um, besides the structure of the website products, this gives you some good product statistics. Um, when the first product was published, uh, when the last product was published, the number of products on their store, the highest price, the lowest price, the average price. It also gives you some of the new products that they've added and best sellers. Um, I've actually noticed that these best sellers are not entirely accurate from the, the what we used before, but you can still use it to kind of get an idea of what are some of their uh, best sellers. And then some of these other ones, yeah, find retailers, traffic, shops, the subscription plan, etc. But yeah, it gives you here some of the information on basically the, yeah, their, their pricing tier. But if you just do the free one, you can still get a lot of information like the theme, the apps that they're using, information about the products, etc. So super, super helpful um, if you're just looking at stores out there and you just want to get a just kind of glimpse or an idea of what they're using. Use Koala Inspector, super easy to use and it's amazing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanna hear from you. If you have any other tips or tricks on how to spy on your Shopify competition or maybe potential competition, right? Um, and again, if you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button. That will help us out a lot. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.